In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with AWS Amplify's full stack TypeScript DX in just under six minutes. I'm going to start with our starter repo. We have these for, we have these for many different frameworks and languages. I'm going to log into the AWS console and then go to AWS Amplify. I'll create a new app, choose GitHub, add my repository and branch. then save and deploy. While my app's deploying, I can go through on GitHub and view what resources this starter creates for me. Inside the Amplify directory, you'll see two folders, auth and data, and they both have resource.ts files in them. This file defines what your resources will look like. So I have login with email set up, as well as a to-do model with API key authorizations, which is used for public access to our app. Whenever I provision a new resource, for example, storage or functions, I'll come into this backend.ts file and add them here. The other thing that's built out with this starter is a very basic to-do list front end, just queries for all of my to-dos. There's also a create form and we're subscribed to the to-do query. So every time I create a new to-do, the new ones will be fetched as well. After a few minutes, my app is deployed and I'll visit my deployed URL. You can see that I have this to-do and I can fill in the input with my to-do list items. If I go to my deployment and then data, I can see the data manager and see that my content is loaded in my database. Now let's set up our local development environment. Here, I'll go to the deployed backend resources and download the amplify outputs.json. I'm gonna clone down the repo, change into my directory, and I'll move the amplify outputs.json that I downloaded into my project. This file contains information about my backend endpoints. Uh, you can see that in my main.tsx file, I am importing that Amplify outputs file and using the Amplify configure method to connect my apps front end to my backend. I'm gonna run an NPM install to make sure that all of my packages that I need are installed. Let's add delete functionality. Under my create to-do, let's create a function for deleting a to-do. I'm using Amazon Q, and you can see that it is recommending, Amazon Q is generated code for me that's exactly correct. So it will take in my ID, then it will run delete on my to-do model with the given ID. Now for purposes of the demo, we're going to add an on click to the list item. You probably want to have this be a button or something in real life. So we'll run that delete to do on the to do dot ID. Let's run a local dev server. And you can see that once I click on one, it's deleted. Let's add authentication to our app. I'm going to wrap my whole app. I'll have VS code do that import for me but it's importing the authenticator from Amplify UI React. I'll also import the styling for it. The authenticator is a React component and it'll add a full sign in, a sign up flow. Let's also add a sign out button. The authenticator will give me this sign out function as well as the user object. So if I wanted to display like the user's username, I could use the user object to do that. And then the sign out function I'll use in my sign out button. Now I'll need to create an account in order to view my app. I'll get a verification email and use that code and use that code to sign in. And now I have this sign out button down here as well. I'm going to commit my changes and push them. And that's all that I need to do to deploy any of my changes to the cloud. Now we're going to make some changes to our backend. So make sure that you have AWS credentials set up locally on your machine to do that. I'll put a link down in the description on how to do that. As I develop locally, I'm going to have a Amplify sandbox running. Every developer on my team will have their own sandbox so that we can all test out cloud changes without clobbering over one another. The other thing is this makes development way faster 
I don't need to fully redeploy manually every single time I make a change. It makes those changes for me in the cloud much faster than I would be able to otherwise. I'm going to go to my data resource file and let's change up our authorization to make it so that only the owner of a to-do will have the permissions to access and modify that to-do. And we'll swap out API key for user pool. So now we'll only see the to-dos that belong to me when I sign into the app, and I'm the only one that can modify those to-dos. Same with all the other users of my app as well. Navigate back to my app.tsx file. Instead of my to-dos here, let's swap this out for the users. So you can see my email addresses to-dos. The only thing that I need to do to deploy my changes to AWS is commit and push my code. And that's how you build full stack apps with Amplify Gen 2. You could continue on to add more features to your app, or you can learn more in our docs at docs.amplify.ews. You can also find our quick starts for, you can also find guides similar to this one for other platforms that we support, such as React Native, Flutter, Android, Swift, and Next.js. Can't wait to see what you build.